You're finding a lot of like. Uh oh. All right. Watch the. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this next time. Okay, it's next time. Welcome, guys. Hey, welcome to that. I'm already back. Oh. Wait, okay, so you got invaded by this guy and another guy. Yep. So you're probably gonna die. Well, I got I got help though. Yeah, you got help. But he's supposed to just help you with this guy. There's another dude that attack. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, don't let him oh. Wow, your friend just beat the crap out of that guy. Yep. I did it. He sure did. Okay, well maybe things aren't gonna be so bad. Gosh, I thought He's a warrior of sunlight, man. You can't, you can't, you gotta be, you gotta respect the warriors, man. Ace, he's a much better fighter than you. <laughs> <laughs> like, that guy's good. I'm telling you, man, I probably made a big old mistake by trying to, like, go with spears this one. Oh, hey, big crab. Oh! Who's your friend? What's the Watchdogs of Ferron? I don't know. Are they, do they just really like the movie, Watchdogs? Watchdogs? <laughs> I'm gonna hang with this guy wherever he's going, cause you know protection he's, with bigger. He's your tactical guy. Damn, that person just went for it. That person just going for it. Oh, we'll go get you. Woohoo! Oh, we got hit by that crab. Wait, I thought crabs. I thought the NPCs couldn't hit these guys. What the? How'd you hit that guy? This one's over in over his head. Oh, oh! Can't wait, can't let your buddy get hit too much, or else he'll uh, he'll run out of essence. Yeah, I'm not trying to like let that happen. One thing you got going for you is your huge health pool. Yeah, that's like that's. I, I guess I'm not doing much damage, but I am doing that. I am doing having, the not dying. I am having life. You're the tank of the group. And you intimidate people with your creepy mask. Yeah, yeah. You're like, hit me! And I'm like, I don't know. What's up, Krabby? He, he got stopped by the tree. I guess there was some good snacks up in that tree. Wow. Rothgar's probably not going to last much longer. Well, good work on killing that dude. Both of those dudes. Rothgar knows what's up. He seems to be a uh, seasoned veteran, but you just never know what kind of seasoning they use. Because on the package, like on the list of ingredients, all it says is seasonings, and they never ever tell you what kind they are. Yeah. So even though he's a seasoned veteran, we don't know what it was used to make him this way. Is it just salt? It could be. Is it Oriental packets? We don't know. Is it bouillon? Could be a combination, you know? We just don't know. The seasoned fighter. Delicious. Man, just feels like I do no damage. Why don't you keep talking about it? Let's keep talking about it. Just to, what, why is it that you feel that you do no damage? Because small numbers pop off of the guy whenever I hit him. Is it a problem with your mother, maybe? <laughs> Was it your childhood? Okay. Did you ever feel like you just weren't succeeding when you were little? I just feel like my life is getting me nowhere. And when I stab bitches, they don't die. And charge up and die. Ooh, dashies. I like how he's got this huge club. And a tiny shield. Oh, he took it out. Well. Maybe I shouldn't have gone so ham. Oh, <laughs> and he died. <laughs> So did this guy just want to join you for a trek through the swamp? Is that what's going on? Like yeah, he's just here. He's here to help me. Like, that's like his literal... He he got summoned in and he's like, I'm going to help this guy. Yeah, but see, usually they have a purpose. Like, they'll, they'll summon a boss so that everyone can fight the boss. But this guy's just like, hey, you know what? I want to be... I want to be like... Uh, like Tifa or whatever and, and assist the cloud of the adventure. I'm not the main character, but fighting stuff is fun. Is that what it is? Yeah. No, you can just you can just join people up and be like, I'm gonna follow you guys, and that's what they'll do. 
I'm just in one really long Final Fantasy fight. Yeah. You're sick. Is there something over here? Is there something over here? You pointing something to Rothgar? No, there's nothing over there. Let's go down the stairs, Rothgar. That's a ladder. Let's go down the stairs, Rothgar. Let's go down the vertical <laughs> stairs. <laughs> Rothgar, don't don't judge me here. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we call them the birdies. Alright, bonfire lit. Alright, I'm following you, Rothgar. Sugar shake. Yep. He's got something on his shield. <laughs> I, I, I agree, Rothgar. Let's go. Come on. It's like a weird booger. It just won't come off. <laughs> We're going this way? Sometimes it makes me wonder what chemical... Where the fuck are you? Are you below another swamp? I'm, I'm in you... the lower part of the swamp now, yeah. It, was this like a dam or something? Anyways, it makes me wonder what chemical composition it is that like makes your boogers really sticky. Because, like, you know, you pick your nose sometimes and, like, the, the thing comes right off. And other times, it's just stuck there. And, like, no matter what you do, you can't get that thing off. Like, it makes me think that if I could harness that ability, I could make my own glue. And I wouldn't have to go to the store for glue sticks and stuff. I could just pick my nose. Like a slug. Ooh, look at this shark. Yeah. And, Thank uh, you, Rothgar. And work on my scrapbook. You're my hero, Rothgar. He's, he's a badass. You gotta tell me where to go, though, buddy. I ain't doing this by myself. Is this where we're going? Okay, dude. Oh, he wants you to look at that dead dog stuck to a tree. Look at that. Where's the dead dog? Oh, no, you there, right there. Oh, it is. It's gross. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for making it so I don't have to look at that anymore. I really like these, um, I guess they're grave markers, but they're moons. They're neat. Rothgar. He's, what are you leading me you, to, Rothgar? Are you kidding me? You just It's like 50% of the words you've said this... Is Rothgar? Is Rothgar. Rothgar! Is that... What are the hell? I guess they just got really sweet-ass hair that... <laughs> Yeah, take a little closer look. Are they pine cones? I Did think they they're pine cones people. in their hair? All right, so this year, mm -hmm. the fire. I'm gonna put the fire out. Why? Cause I, you know, the game it doesn't really tell you much other than like go here, do things, kill people. Mm -hmm. But uh, you put the fire out, and you can talk to somebody eventually. And he says, if you put all three of the bonfires out, you get entrance to the spe special door. Hi, uh, special door. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Special door. So I put one of those fires out. You can see another fire back there in the background. Wow. That was a really effective pilot light for this whole thing. You put out the tiny flame and the big flame goes out? Yeah. And then a tiny flame somewhere else pops up. Oh. So anyways. It's like you took him from, from his house and you drove him to work. Can't be home and at work at the same time. Ooh. You'd think there'd be something they can do to... Never mind. He just healed himself. I just... I was just thinking, like, like if you kill a certain amount of enemies, maybe he should gain a, um, a potion up to a cap. Ew, you? You pointed to the giant nutsack in this game? <laughs> All right, buddy, take me. Dick. Take me forward. Yeah, you seem to be enamored with Rothgar. I'm not surprised you want him to take you. Take me, Rothgar. <laughs> take me. I mean, yes, to to that place. I yes, didn't. Yes. I didn't mean just take off all my clothes and have your way with me. That's that's not what I meant. Ooh, we're sneaking up on him. Is that what we're doing, Rothgar? Get him. Oh, Ooh, good no, job. Right in there. Oh no. Oh. oh. He hopped around. Is this? This guy, like, reminds me of a performer, like a rock and roll artist. Look, he's like a death metal guy. He's hanging up all these skulls. Got so many Titanite shards. This is is that thing in the tree over there? Look. Yeah, it's up on a, it's up on a, a ruins. A ruins. A ruins. What kind of place do you think this was before the bog came over? Because I see there's a bunch of steps. Did the environment just change drastically 
Are we in a post-apocalyptic world, or, or what's going on? I don't think it's post-apocalyptic. Did just it's, it's maybe it's maybe uh, mid-apocalyptic. <laughs> that, yeah, I guess we don't really have a, a lot of things like that. All right, so we're putting out another fire. And okay, skipping. Fire gone. Next fire. <laughs> Got it. Fire bad. I Which get it. Which is interesting because usually throughout the course of your adventures as this person, you're lighting fires. So. Is there anything back here, dude? No. Okay. <laughs> If you can make out that that strange sound in the distance, that's uh that's, pterodactyls in the walls. That's our editor. Oh, like mackerel. Uh oh. See, that's what I did earlier. Nasty poo gas coming out. You know what? I played this game uh, in this area. I, I I've been doing a lot of stuff that I've already done before, but this was so much harder to do by myself. What does that do? Does that poison you? I fell down. I got fell down. <laughs> well, he couldn't. He was spraying this toxic gas. And he doesn't have like a a night visor on or anything. Night visor. Night rider. Night uh, night vision goggles. Of course, he couldn't see what he was doing. I think his friend just pushed him off for fun. Yeah, it's quite possible. I'm tired of this gas, man. Come on, Rothka. Take me all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I want a climax, Rothgar. We can do it. Rothgar says you got to stroke the shaft. <laughs> I'll do it, Rothgar. I'll do whatever you tell me to do. Holy mackerel, this thing fell off the wall. This thing. Oh, it's... You know what? That item's probably not even worth getting. No, we're going to get it, though. No, it's probably not even worth it. Oh, uh, you know what is weird? Like, you'll play this game and you'll fight gross piles of slugs and shit, but you'll see, like, a tiny spider in the kitchen and you won't want to go in it. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? Yeah. All right. Bone shard. I like the bone shard. Let's... I want to jump for joy for the bone shard. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was totally worth getting then. Yeah. Yeah. Whose bones are you sh sharding? Rothgar, where are we going? Show me. Lead me the way, Rothgar. He can't... He has to figure it out, man. He's got GPS. It doesn't just automatically... You gotta input that stuff. And satellite isn't always the fastest thing. <laughs> burn, slug, burn. Got, I'm helping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at you helping. Look at his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go up any faster? Stop showing off, dude. <laughs> Not even touching him, look. <laughs> he's like he's sucking him. He's like using the top part of his Whoa! He's using the top part of his foot to get up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he's got hooks on the top of his feet. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Squiggle away, gemstone. Gotcha. Twinkling turkey night. That would be a good cartoon. Twinkling turkey night? Uh-huh. What do you, you want me to hit this? All right, I hit it. What the fuck? Oh, cool. Wait, how come it didn't break when just he hit it? Jumping down? Because this is my game. My game, my rules. Oh. Dead dog in the corner. Yeah, I can pray to him. I can learn the Legion etiquette. And I can join the Covenant. Are you talking to a dead dog right now? All right. I have obtained the proof. Are you talking to a dead dog? Is this Sif let's, from the first dog? Switch first game? With, eh, I think it is. Is this what you wanted? This is what you got it. Oh, I thought you were doing the... Uh, <laughs> I thought you were doing the Wii Fit trainer thing. Let's stretch those arms. <laughs> Salute the sun! Yeah, he's totally a sun bro. The guy from uh, We Fit Trainer yeah. in Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, for sure. Totally a sun bro. Praise the sun! Blah. All right, so you haven't seen this, but I saw this. I've seen nothing. And I thought it was so cool. Okay, show me. Here it is. Is it? Does this look familiar to you? It should. Yes. No. It's a little bigger than I remember. Is this a Dark Souls 2 thing? It's we... a Dark Souls 2 thing. 
Is that Wait. the same monster? I don't know if it's a Dark Souls 2 thing or not. Yeah, you jump down here and this guy fights you and... Uh, and there's a guy up top of that parapet or whatever shooting a crossbow at you. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's cool. I wouldn't have thought of it if you hadn't said anything. So the undead version of whatever creature that is is now back and he's hurting his tailbone. Yeah. I saw this in Mario Brothers. <laughs> okay. You need to see a doctor. My shit's broken. I broke my coccyx and you're like, language. He's like, what? It's my tailbone. And you're like, oh, sorry. I'm uneducated. <laughs> Man. Yep. <laughs> oh man. Here we go. As I'm, <laughs> who's just really concentrating this round? Is it just because you're uh, not doing much damage with the spear? It's probably because. <laughs> thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> I think I got a great axe. Maybe I should use the great axe. That axe is great. <laughs> Good job, Rothgar. All right. Now that we've defeated that guy, we're gonna. Travel into the future and see you guys next time. We'll see you later. It was great hanging out with you. I always like these times together that we share. Just you and me and him in your bedroom. We need to, we need to stop. We need to actually have a break every time we have that. <laughs>